Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, I'll be telling about how you can use basically AI, artificial intelligence, like ChatGPT to interview seven, eight, and nine and 10 figure entrepreneurs. ChatGPT is going to be like a friend to us. It, it is going to help us do like so many things. See, firstly, let's understand like interviews. What I, like, I'll just break down interviews into like three parts, right? Before, during the interview and after the interview, right? In into three three simple steps. Before the interview, what we have to do. During the interview, what we have to do, and after the interview, what we can do, right? And how we can use this artificial intelligence. See, right now there are like more than thousand plus tools which is coming every single month, right? If you don't catch the trend early, like we'll be left behind. Do you guys agree or not? Just tell me yes in the chat. Like if you don't um, catch the trend early, like right now like you are at the right time at the right place and you're watching the training at the right time. If you don't catch the trends early, like you'll be left behind. And in today's training, I'll be sharing with you everything from asking the right questions, how you can create your unique USP and how you can use a powerful combination, right? And how you can become irreplaceable, how to avoid whatever uh, plagiarism, how to have a relationship between the man and the mission, right? And how you can ask, Great questions, everything step by step. See, like the most important thing I will tell you, like let's understand by uh, understanding uh, what it actually takes to create great things. Because see, right now we live in the most dynamic, uh, like the most diverse society ever in the human history. If you don't adopt to the things fast, you will be like replaced with AI. Like they are like millions and billions of instructions is being sent every single second, right? Now let's understand firstly, what do like great billionaires predict like Dean Jain and like uh, uh, Elon Musk and everyone, right? I haven't just spoke to Naveen Jain, I haven't spoken with Elon or like someone, right? Hopefully one day, let's ask Naveen and let's understand what Naveen has to tell about the disruptive technologies. Absolutely. It was amazing. It blowed away my mind, actually. Right? And yes, if I ask you, Naveen Chen, like, as you said, like, you need not be expert, right? Like, but most of the people actually think like we have to know every single thing, every single piece of that thing, only then they will be able to disrupt any industry. How can a person from India also able to dream big and achieve great things? Absolutely. And actually, again, remember that once you become an expert and once you know everything about that particular subject, you know, in my opinion, you become useless or in other words, you become an incrementalist. That means you will be 10% better than anybody in the world and you could be the world's best at it, but you will never be 10 times better than someone else because to do that, you have to challenge the foundation of everything that experts have taken it for granted, right? I have now started seven companies and no two companies have ever been in the same industry because the fundamental belief is that once you look at a problem, any problem from outside in, you are able to challenge the foundation of what experts have taken it for granted. And the massive amount of disruption comes when you are able to change, that means you fundamentally reimagine and recreate a completely new way of doing things and then you completely disrupt that industry. So very rarely the disruptors come from the same industry. It is the people from outside your industry that are disrupting the industry. So if you think about it, taxi industry was not disrupted by some a smart taxi driver. It was done by Uber rethinking what it can be done. If you look at the no hotel, a hotelier came about and said, I'm going to disrupt the hotel industry. It was Airbnb that fundamentally changed the hotel industry, right? And if you start to think about every single industry, healthcare is not going to be disrupted by someone in healthcare. It's going to be disrupted by someone rethinking and saying, can the human body actually be digitized and really looking at a big data problem rather than as a healthcare problem? And suddenly you can disrupt that. And I think you start to look at your automotive industry was not disrupted by somebody in the automotive industry. It took a long, somebody from totally outside the industry did not understand and completely fundamental change the automotive industry. He changed the way how we look at the space. And you know, if you look at today in the space, 
who were the market leaders it used to be lockheed martin all these big aerospace industry and they nowhere to be seen who owns that space today it is richard uh, richard brents and jeff bezos uh, elon musk you know us every one of us who are coming from outside the industry fundamentally change the way we look at the things and that's the thing is that you don't have to be an expert to change the industry absolutely it was phenomenal all we need is like to having that moonshot thinking right and yeah yeah amazing bendens like if anybody wants to now even navin jain tells it is like experts non experts are the people who can change the world it's like people like you and me are the people do you guys agree on or just tell me yes in the chat we are the people who can actually bring in massive change in today's world it is the non experts it's not someone who had like 10 different degrees it's not the phd's right who were able to bring in the change it is like the people who knows how to ask like the moonshot entrepreneurs right other people who can actually bring in the change in today's economy in today's world it is all about understanding the fundamentals in place if you understand those things like you will be able to get whatever you want now if you see like navin jain said one very important if you can imagine rethink right and recreate right and if you are able to do that like you will be able to achieve it and now in today's world it is the most important thing is like you have the at your fingertips all the information how do we use it is in the right way for that like you need like the moonshot mindset right like the moonshot mindset is like what if what if mindset like if you have that ability to think what is like possible what if uh, we're actually possible like can i message someone can i do what could they do like how they can add more value like these are the questions like uh, you have to ask right and uh, that's the most important thing like if you were able to do that like you will be able to get whatever you want it's all about your own mindset like navin jain had like so many companies like how did he did is because of like his grit and determination right and perseverance right and that's the most important thing and now for using the chat gpt in the right way all you have to do is you just have to be insanely curious and that is the skill the principle if you want to do like if you want to use in the chat gpt in the right uh, way right you have to use it and like you also have to understand how you can um create a curve like an intersection and that is what i am seeing right now in today's world right if you see right now we are living in a complete different world now this is what is like the curve of intersection which happens anybody who is going to have these things will become irreplaceable right someone actually asked me right how i can become irreplaceable it is like the relationship it's like make mission and man friend right <laughs> like woman like man woman whatever whoever you are first thing is like you as a human being see always remember that no matter what system no matter what super computer no matter what app it is like no computer fell from the heaven right right or like a laptop everything is like the creation of human beings do you agree with that or not just tell me yes in the chat like it is first is like our human right humans are the people like the controllers right if we off the mission it will not work right we are the people who set instructions do instructions to the technology now the first thing is if you want to become irreplaceable first thing is like you have to gain a skill like you should become really good in that and second thing is use ai artificial intelligence like the technology like in technology you can call it like chat gpt is one of the tools like there are like thousand different tools how you use it matters and the third thing is have like your own community right have your own community that's when like you will be able to do incredible stuff because you have like a leverage right and a channel like a channel distribution channel so that like you can post the content bring in the people give them the value everything right like a channel is nothing but like a youtube where you are able to uh, connect with the people everything now 
it is like as a consultants right like you are like growth consultant like you are helping people to become better like you are making their lives better right now using the technology like channels are like like you can use your own um this thing like own funnel automation systems everything and you you are the king or like queen of like your business and you are using the chat gpt this is when there is a powerful combination which happens over here and for the first time ever like even if you see the graph right like in like olden days and all like people who were becoming rich were like the like who were actually becoming more richer and richer it were it were like maximum the rich people right who had lot of money who had lot of funding who had everything right now if you see even somebody who uh, like we live in the metaverse world do you guys agree or not people who are like even 12 years 14 years 15 years are like minting money like crazy right by the age of 22 23 years they are like millionaires multi millionaires deca millionaires right it is like so so crazy right do you guys agree or not so many people are like becoming millionaires see you have to understand how did the people like rich in the olden days like how were people becoming rich in the olden days like they were used to uh, become rich through what like one is like oil right all the people like all the kings in saudi or like united uh, arabs right like dubai who became very rich because of oil like if you see like america or like any other country also real estate right like selling the lands everything now if you see even the top 10 billionaires like steel right steel like andrew carnegie or like rockefellers rockefellers was like the oil company right and this is how like the industries kept on evolving now if you see in 2023 who are the richest people can you guys tell me in the chat all the people who are using technology right mark zuckerberg right he became rich like he became billionaires before he was like 30 years snapchat ceo he became a billionaire multi billionaire before he was like 21 or 22 approximately right and oyo like ritesh agarwal like they had created enterprise level value tech plus something right google so many people are like using is there something which you can feel like it's all like data right like right now people who have become super rich are the people who are using technology who are using data and who is helping people in the scale of like billions of people making millions of people's lives better right and that is the stuff like you have to understand what are you really good at now see in mark zuckerberg's case like i will also share with you um, why did they became so successful right like let's understand their character traits so that like you understand uh, much better and like much uh, it becomes more easier for us to understand uh, why did they became so successful see mark zuckerberg right like mark zuckerberg like the facebook like the meta uh, ceo right why did he become so successful because he he had learned one thing which is like coding right he was extremely good in coding do you guys agree or not and that's how he wrote the code for the facebook and stuff and that's how uh, uh, when he was in his um uh stanford or like harvard like when he was studying itself like he was trying to experiment with lot of things and he understood like code is going to help me make a lot of money to create like enterprise level value and to um really help mag- like magnificent impact to the world right and now let's understand what was mark zuckerberg's core strengths and weaknesses right so that like we will be able to understand like parallel line so that we can see okay like do we have that skill like coding do we like coding you guys tell me in the chat do anybody here knows coding do you guys love coding right if you if you tell yes then it's like you have to learn that specific skill because if you want to create a huge impact that's how a lot of people did that right then i understood even though i was like an uh, computer science engineer like i didn't love coding right the two ways to become like billionaires is one is like um, either like you learn coding and that's how all like this mark zuckerberg all these people had like a really fast wealth right they had like before the age of uh, 30 itself they had like this wealth 
right? Like if you see like Warren Buffett and all, like the law of compounding, right? Of course, he's a very successful person. But if you see Warren Buffett's uh, graph in Google, his massive wealth, he started when he was like, like 58 or like 59, right? Like the law of compounding happened like this after like right now, if you see Warren Buffett's age on like Google, right? Uh, he will, um, I'll just show you the diagram. Wealth graph, right? He made massive amount of his wealth after like his 60s, right? And like right now, do you guys have so much time to become wealthy, right? Do you want to become wealthy after like you are uh, like in your 60s or like you want to do in your 20s in the metaverse, right? And that's the question you need to ask yourself. He went from 6,000 to like 73. And where is that diagram? Yeah. If you guys can see 14, he started law of compounding, buying stocks, 15, 6K, $6,000 like this. He reached 1 billion when he was 50, uh, 56 years, right? And right now, 83 years, uh, $58 billion network, right? Because he believed in like the stock market and he believed in the right timing. He invested in the right stocks and see, and you also need a lot of money. Do you guys agree or not? It doesn't mean like some people tell, okay, put $1 and like you make like billion dollars. It does not work like that, right? You have to put in more money, in fact, to make more money back, right? You can't expect by just putting $100 into like your stock market or like crypto and expect you to become a billionaire. Do you guys agree or not? Just tell me yes in the chat. Like the timing has to be like very crucial. Like you have to be ab absolutely at the best time. And like there are so many integrity details, right? And only when you perform all those things, that's when like you will be able to get the success, whatever you want. Now, we don't have so much time. Do you guys agree or not? We don't have like 60 years to become like rich and like we don't uh, want, like we don't, uh, like coding, right? And that's why the best approach, what I will tell you is you can use, um, uh, we can use our own stuff. Like what are we like really good at, right? Is like, that's what I realized. And that's what I understood. Okay. Like, I don't know much about like the coding and stuff. Like so many people became good by using technology, like code, right? Even though I'm a computer science engineer, I understood, okay, that's not a cup of tea for me. Maybe I'll get a partner who is like so good in that. But um, I understood my core strengths is like speaking to people, talking to people, connecting with the people. That's what um, is my strengths as a consultant, right? Growth partner or like growth consultant. Do you guys agree or not? This is what a lot of people also have like the common strengths, right? If agree, just tell me yes in the chat. Right? We help people. We like giving advices to people. We like to make videos. We like to uh, uh, explain. We like to help people with whatever skill sets we have. Right, And that's what I, I identified. Okay, if I am not good in code, what is the other stuff I can do it? Right, And then while I analyzed, um, what I saw was like the most important thing is if I really want to create like great empire and stuff, I have to start doing something which can create a lot of impact with less money also, right? And that's when I identified interviews is the best way for me to go and start helping people because all the people became rich by tech and this thing. And right now in 2023, the rich other people, like the tech people, the basically like the creators, and basically people who are creating a huge impact. Now, if you see, um, like, um, if you see like Oprah, right? How many of you guys know Oprah, right? Like the Americas or um, Oprah Winfrey, like she became billionaire by interviewing so many people, creating so many brands, uh, everything, right? Uh -huh. Now, if you see her, her personality also, she started with something called like interviews. She started to interview in so many people and create a huge impact 
in like USA, right? If you just, if I just type Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey show since 1986, 26 seasons, right? Uh, America's talk show host, television producer, actress, author, media, um, right? And she's also like a billionaire, right? Which uh, where she created a huge impact to the world, right? And that is what it is. Like if you see, her basic skill was like basically like communication, persuasion, um, interviewing the people, asking the right questions from the media to the influence to the world, right? And even if you see the greatest podcaster in the world, right? Um, Joe Rogan, how many of you guys know who is Joe Rogan, right? Who actually interviewed um, uh, on mask and stuff, right? He understood. Uh, if he's not a billionaire by creating a tech, why don't I start interviewing people and start creating an impact? And that's what he did. American UFC color, like podcaster, comedian, actor, former television presenter, right? He became so good and he became so consistent by asking the right questions, bringing the right guests and giving a best experience for the people, right? And today he's making a huge impact, making more than... 10 million dollars, right? Like if you just see, um, he's able to interview like presidents, he's able to uh, connect with uh, billionaires, everything. It's like one stuff, what you do consistently is what is going to uh, bring in like a massive impact. Do you guys agree or not? That is what it takes. It is all about that one action which you can do consistently. And that is what today I'll be telling you. The most important thing is like like with zero experience or like with zero knowledge zero equipment cost zero money zero funding right from india right from your village right from wherever you are in like you can start connecting with the people and creating enterprise level value and that is when i realized interviewing the uh, people creating the experience for the people where you can bring in and uh, share the massive wisdom with the people because see what i believe is how many people here believe in uh, philanthropy works right like helping the poor people just tell me yes in the chat if you guys have done any kind of philanthropy works right like helping the poor people giving them uh, like the food what uh, like the clothes or like money right in your past right that's awesome now see even i believed in it right i was participating in the asia's like india's biggest social service event like if you see this was before uh 2017 2017 2018 in fact you can see this video right like four years before and this was the stuff which we i used to participate and we used to organize this in our college right you guys can see here see this was all about like uh, collecting the clothes and like money donations from all the people like the directors teachers and like all the students in the college right where we used to go and ask in every sec class right like we are going to an orphanage like old age home do anybody wants to donate right but what i figured out is like this can only help that people only for one day do you guys agree or not not even one day only for like one meal right like again from where do we get the money like how they can be again happy when we are there of course they'll be like happy we cut the cake we gave the uh all like the basic things like the things what they want everything right but we were not able to create a huge impact do you guys agree or not philanthropy you can just only do like small good not not very big good that's what even naveen jain had told right if you see here
Hi guys, everyone. Uh, it's, uh, it was and even if you see, my confidence also was not so good over there that time, like four years back. Even last year we came here, Danu. Actually, I was so much fearing speaking in front of everyone over there because I had organized. They put me on the center and they told me to speak there. Right? Celebrating this you guys can see. We all took part as volunteers and other here and helping the poor people, giving them all the food, the clothes, and shelter and many things. We are going to celebrate for this one because. Very nice. Thank you. I used to have like so much fear also, right? Before I start with the interview shows and everything. In fact, you can just go to YouTube and just type Reva University Danutsav and like you'll be able to find it, right? And this is how it was. And then I analyzed, okay, I can do good, but not like really great stuff by doing philanthropy and work. The real philanthropy is like providing someone with the right knowledge, real knowledge. Do you guys agree or not? Right? helping people with the real knowledge help. If you just give a man a fish a day, he can just eat for one day. But if you can teach him how to fish, he will be able to read for his rest of his life. And that's when we created this company called like Real Knowledge Club, sharing with the real, like how you can create a really huge impact, create an enterprise level value, connecting with the enterprise level people at the same time, helping people to grow as growth consultants. That was our mission. And fast forward to right now, like right now is the opportunity for us to start interviewing with the people and stuff. Right now you understood how important it is to start using interviews and stuff. It is asking the right questions. Now let's understand with the chat GPT, how basically uh, we can do it. Now, pertaining to the first question, the future relationship between the man and mission, I have answered over here. Like how we can create a huge impact is by using an intersection. See, now it is like the time where for the first time ever, these all these four things are like colliding with each other, right? Like before you just had to start with something. Before like you just had like linear growth, right? As a consultant, you were just helping people maybe you can make your million after like five years or 10 years, right? And if you go to like college or like conventional approach, it'll take you like 20 years to become millionaire. Now with like technology today itself, like there is like huge technology things, right? Like anything comes and you have like the channel, everything for the first time ever, there is an intersection happening. And now is the time. See, any new technology, when it comes, so many people will tell we cannot use AI for interviews. How can we do that, right? We have to work hard, right? See, hard work will not help you <laughs> reach where you are today right now, right? Like smart work plus hard work is what going to help you to create great things. That's what the world needs. The world needs the intellectual people. Now, let's understand. Before interviews, during interviews, and after interviews, what all things can, uh, like basically chat GPT help us, right? See, the most important thing before interviews, before interviews, what is the stuff like we want from the chat GPT is like connecting uh, with the people, right? Like connecting the dots. Like basically what we can do is like the first step is hmm, questions you have before, during, and after. See, before interview, like what are the stuff, what we can do, we can understand about the guest, right? You can do about the, about guest research. Do you guys agree or not? Like I can just ask about my next guest, about them, what do they do? About guest research, right? And uh, guest achievements. what achievement have they achieved in their life to actually uh, tell us how to go about. And then during the interviews, right? Uh, during the interview, what are the stuff like you are going to do asking the right questions, right? What are the questions like you can um, ask them? And after the interview, how you can repurpose the content. Now imagine like you have interviewed, you have gotten video, how you can get a transcript of the video and make it into like blog articles, right? How you can make it into like short one minute video clips, right? And also see there are like multiple AI tools. I'm not just talking about one specific tool like ChatGPT. You can use so many things and how you can create a Twitter thread
uh, how you can create a Twitter thread, how to make a, a Facebook post. How many of you guys have seen? I do like so many posts, right, on Facebook. See, which used to take me a lot of time, like 30 minutes to all the way, like two hours to create one post. But right now by using ChatGPT, I can do everything like so, so quick and so fast because ChatGPT, all I have to do is give the right instructions to it and it is going to help me to get the whatever I want, the great uh, achievements, asking the right questions over here. What are the things I can actually ask is like about the guest, who are they and what is the common um, goal of like the, what do they like the most, right? What are the questions which can make the guest feel it's interesting instead of boring, right? See, do you guys agree or not? Like a lot of interviews, a lot of people ask the same questions again and again, right? It's like, that's like very, very boring. And it is going to be a little bit disgusting also for the guest, right? Do you guys agree or not? Asking the same questions, everybody's asking the same questions again and again, right? And that actually does not make other people happy, right? The only way how you can make other people's lives happy is like you asking the right questions to them and that is what we can do before guest research guest achievements during the interviews um, asking the right questions and um, repurposing the content afterwards these are the three things see now imagine like you had to hire like a content writer like a video designer like a graphics guy so many people before right if you really wanted to make a huge impact but right now alone like you just alone by using chat gpt like you will be able to get like so much help it's like those days you guys remember birbal right just tell me yes in the chat if you know birbal akbar and birbal right where the akbar wants to do something and there is always like a guy like birbal in the empire right who tells you everything like every solution Right. And that is what I call like the AI chat GPT, like my Birbal. Whatever I ask, it will give me like question, like answers, like uh, instantly. Right. And that is what it is. Like we have to understand how we can use it to our fullest potential. And now I will show you uh, how we can basically use it to the uh, our highest uh, potential ever possible. Right. Um, I'll be opening chat GPT and uh, walking you through the practical stuff. And also I'll be showing you the strengths and weakness of like the top people who is really doing good in this specific domain, like interviewing and stuff, right? See the first question, what I asked, the strengths and weakness, 10 to 20 difference of like Joe Rogan, right? Some of the world's best interviewer, like podcaster, right? If you just see, he has charismatic and like engaging speaker, right? and extensive knowledge, curiosity. See, that's the most important thing. If you want to interview more people, like you always have to be curious. In-depth interviews, asking probing questions, right? Thought-provoking questions, successful careers, stand up, okay. Independent, free-thinking mindset, strong work ethics, commitment to his craft, being consistent with your interviews, has built a massive following and influential platform where he can bring in like presidents and even billionaires willing to adopt is wrong, misinformed. He used platform to advocate for mental health and personal growth. And right? that's what I was telling you in, in my previous sessions also, how you can use it uh, to cure your own problems, how to have a strong sense of humor. And if you're, uh, and if it is not afraid and irrelevant also, right? And that's the basic, like if you see like commonalities between what even like 
uh, Joe Rogan also had, right? Because he believed in it and he did that. Now the same thing, like all the great people also have in common. It is all about how do we use it in the right way, right? Now that's the thing, like all you have to do is asking the right questions. Now, before like you interview anyone, right? This is the question that like, you can ask, right? Now imagine like you are interviewing like an ink entrepreneur before guest. Like imagine if I have to interview um, like any famous person, let's take Patrick David, right? A successful American based entrepreneur. Right now, what's the question which I'm going to ask is, um, who is who is Patrick David? Right. Now see, imagine if I put the same question in the Google, let's see what answer the Google will give me. Right, Google will show me so many answers, right? Okay, about it's here, it's here, it's here, so many places. Of course, like the main website, is. this is how I used to do in the past, right? I used to open their website. I used to read everything and then I used to identify how I can put it in like small two lines, right? Because I can't put out the entire about information. Then I used to see what is the most important thing. Okay, Patrick started his company during 10 years. He was like featured on like um, so many things and uh, he's the top entrepreneur, 30 million plus views. He launched his book, blah, 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 all this stuff, right? Whereas if you use the, like the chat GPT in the right way, hmm, where I, just put the question, right? Who is Patrick David? Okay, sometimes chat GPT has that problem, right? Uh, it is going to be slow sometimes. Because still it is in, it's in early stage, right? Chat GPT three, four, now, like more versions, it comes, it becomes more faster. I don't know why it is slow today. Maybe I'll ask the same question in another new tab. Yeah, now we got it. Now see, I've asked who is Patrick David. Now this is going to be for me about information. Who is Patrick David? I got a consolidated email uh, like about his information, right? Now I can tell, hey everyone, I am going to interview uh, Patrick David on my Facebook post, right? Like this is going to be the first prompt. Now you can use this prompt um, to ask whatever question you have in your mind so that you will actually get the answer in a must, most appropriate and an easy way. Now I'll show you like practically itself. Who is Patrick David? I got it. Okay, the next stuff, what I can do, what I want, like I will also uh, copy that information uh, into a doc so that it becomes easy. First prompt, okay. See, this is like step by step I'm giving you, okay? It's like so that it becomes practical for you guys. Right, who is Patrick David? The first instruction I gave. And also use like Grammarly, okay? So that you get the information in the most appropriate way. Now understood, like who is Patrick David? I got an uh, post. Right now, second thing, I want to uh, make a Facebook post, right? Like I will tell, I am interviewing 
पैट्रिक पर डेविड ऑन ओके व्हाट्स द डेट लाइक लेट्स गिव इट ऑन टेंथ अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री राइट एंड फेसबुक पोस्ट inviting people to come and join the live interview in the facebook group also i what i'll do is i'll uh, paste my group name and go and inviting the people to come and join the live interview in the facebook group and ask okay again there is a problem see within like a fraction of a second i'm getting an answer hey attention to all the coaches consultants we are exciting news on april 10th we are hosting a live interview with one and only patrick david patrick is a renowned author um ceo during this interview he'll be sharing his insights on entrepreneurship business exciting event your opportunity to ask patrick right 11 am est see and also i can write down i can tell that um, post uh, okay write this post it's um uh, 10 am indian standard time okay 9 like usually i do 9 pm est write in est pst cst and uk time as well the previous facebook post okay um there was an issue okay i'll just copy this right see it also gives me like the right uh, hashtags also isn't it amazing you guys tell me right just tell me amazing in the chat if you agree with it see i came to know about information in how much like less than 1 minute i got the second facebook post right all i have to do is like 80% see what i was speaking to one of the most successful guys like few days back he said me i was asking him man like how can i grow much right how i can do it like including even uh, no uh uh anik singh also tells that like you can just listen that's incredible time is the most valuable asset right if we use it in the right way right and uh, i see like you have went through the trenches like so many failures success and like you have reached where today right now right what is the three to five most uh, important qualities like you see if you were to hire like team members right because at the end of the day having the right team is the most important thing right yeah. what are the qualities you see if you were to hire someone in, into your company i want someone who's decisive who can make decisions i want someone who's hungry i can't deal with people that are not see let's also note down what uh, anik is telling right i want someone to write it down also first one is what in the chat ambitious that's incredible time is the most valuable asset right 100%. if we use it in the right way right 100%. and uh, i see like you have 
went through the trenches like so many failures success and like you have reached where today right now right what is the three to five most uh, important qualities like you see if you were to hire like team members right because at the end of the day having the right team is the most important thing right yeah. what are the qualities you see if you were to hire someone in into your company i want someone who's decisive who can make decisions i want someone who's hungry I can't deal with people that are not ambitious because if they're not hungry, they don't belong in my company. I'm not saying anything bad about them. They just belong in corporate. They don't belong in a startup. I want someone who uh, is loyal. I want to know why they want to come work for me, right? What's your real reason? Is it just a paycheck? If it's just a paycheck, then don't work here. There's lots of places to get paychecks. You want to work with me because you want to enroll into my mission. You want to enroll into what we're trying to do, how we're trying to change the world, help the world. And then number four is your skill. I don't, I don't want to just hire from potential. Listen, if I go to a restaurant, I, I don't, I don't eat dough because it has the potential of being a pizza. I want a pizza. If I order a pizza and the chef brings me a big ball of dough, I will be very upset. And they'll say, well, yeah, but that dough could become a pizza. Well, that's good for it. I wanted a pizza. So when I'm out hiring team members, I'm not just looking for people that could be good at something. I want someone who's already good at that something. I'm very, very, very insistent about hiring for experience and not just for potential. So that's very important to me. So I'm looking for people that will be loyal, that already know, that are hungry, and that I believe will show up every day and, and are in it for the right reason. Um, and we, it's, it is very difficult in today's world to get a job with us. It's very hard. I make it very difficult. Um, and, uh, that's by design. We do that on purpose. Absolutely. Having the right people in the bus is the most important thing. hundred percent. Do you hire like newbies or like you, uh, only hire like experts in your, in your own companies? Um, anyone yeah. reporting to me or anyone in my management or even in my junior management is never a newbie, not a chance, not happening. Um, my management is allowed to hire young people that are freshers, as you would say, or newbies. Mm -hmm. um, but then it's up to them to train and coach and guide them. I, I personally do not have time. So anyone reporting to me, I will never hire someone who's brand new. I just don't have the time. I don't have the time to teach and train them. And some people say, oh, that's so mean, you know, la, 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 la. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's not me. It's smart. Okay. If, if you enroll into a university and the person mm. teaching you math does not know math and is reading it from a textbook, you will be upset. You paid for experience. You paid for knowledge. You paid for expertise. So why is it wrong for me to expect that if I'm hiring someone? Absolutely. How was it guys? Like, let me know the advice with Anik. It was amazing. Just amazing in the chat. Right. Now, see, he told about three things. He is not hiring anyone who is hungry, who is not loyal, and who is not smart, right? And right now, ChatGPT can do all these three things for you. You have the best person, right? Anik is telling he will not hire someone, right? And that's what you also have to do. You have to hire, and like you have to capture the person who has the brain, and like nobody in the world can give you like such a fast post right do you guys agree or not no matter how good how talented how much ever intelligent how much ever experience they have whether it's content writer copywriter maybe even if you bring the world's greatest copywriter right even they will also not be able to write the post at a record time do you guys agree or not and that's the stuff what chat gpt can do for you and me Right now we got the about section. Now we got the Facebook post. Now what is the third thing, right? We need during the interview about post done, right? Um, like Facebook post done. And you can also send that as an email also, like tell the chat GPT telling that, hey, write an email instead of telling like a Facebook post, the same instruction, you are just giving it, telling it to write an um, email. Right. This is the second prompt which you can use. And the third prompt is this is the simple question. All you have to do is change your group name and your guest name and the same instruction. Give it and like you'll be able to use it. And the third is I'm interviewing Patrick. Write an email. Right. Write an email. 
to my audience. Inviting the people to come and join the live interview in the Facebook group, ask the questions, right? I'll just copy this, come here. I have to refresh it. See, sometimes uh, it will not load like very fast, right? Like ChatGPT, don't get disheartened uh, because millions of people are using and that's why it is a little bit slow. Just search it again, okay? And you'll get the answers here. Dear audience. And I will also tell it to write an uh, three days follow up sequence, right? Write an interview, write an email to my audience with five days follow up, five days to go, uh, four days to go, three days to go. Uh, Now I'll actually tell ChatGP to write like remainder wise. See, it will also write even in that format. If you want to remind like multiple times to your uh, audience, it will also do that. Now we got even the email, right? If the guest is like very big, you can actually send like multiple um, you know, invites, right? Like telling it to write it again and again. And uh, yeah, you can also get it like a follow up also, like follow up type as well. All you have to do is use only 10 or 20% of your brain, okay? Uh, that's it. Like rest everything, it is going to take care. It is thinking. Maybe I will search it again so that it comes properly. Right, you will also get the sequence if you search that in a proper way, okay? Mm. With that being said, you can uh, put out this instruction and like you'll be able to get in uh, like the exact flow. This is the third instruction, like the third prompt. You can use it under fourth prompt. Right? These are the ways. Now, you, like, in fact, you can actually ask uh, the question, like, use always Grammarly, okay? It will actually correct whatever the spelling mistakes you will be doing, like how it is doing for me right now. This is all like before the interviews. Okay, now during the interviews, Right during the interview, like you have to uh, understand what questions to ask. Let's um, do that. Right, I am interviewing Patrick David. See if the guest is like very big enough, like you can just ask it and it is going to tell you the answer. If the guest is not so big enough, like you just have to write down, I am interviewing a seven figure or like six figure, like eight figure entrepreneur. Let me know. What to ask? Do that. Come here and uh, See, these are the questions what we are getting. What inspired you to become entrepreneur? What is your philosophy on leadership? 
um, what is the process for evaluating a potential investment opportunity, how to um, write, how to see the biggest challenges entrepreneurs today, right? Future of entrepreneurship. Now imagine uh, your audience are like young entrepreneurs, right? You can frame this question in a much better way. I'm interviewing Patrick David, let me know what to ask to them, right? I am interviewing Patrick David. No, 20 great questions. What ask them? Which others have not asked, right? And the audience who are going to watch our growth consultant coaches and entrepreneurs right now you will see the answer what it will give is going to be completely different I have to just reload it again. Maybe it is taking some time, but uh, we will definitely get this answer. Right now, once we have got the answer right, all you have to do is, um, yeah, once we get the answer, like we can make it like still better also uh, by you actually using like 80% of the answers like you'll be able to get like only 20% tweaks like something which you can do and like you will be able to go about, right? This is like during the interview and after the interview, right? These are the questions like, during the interview time, like which uh, is going to be helpful and that is what ChatGPT is going to help you out. And uh, after the interview, like what you can do is, you can use tools like a uh, transcript, like otter.ai, like or some tools, right? Um, make like a Facebook post, like takeaway post, like uh, from this 30 minutes, conversation text, right? Write a Twitter thread this concept of product market fit, like anything, like whatever, like you are going to feed it, right? Like you can just put in the information and like you will be able to get the solution right and like you will be able to get instantly right that's how like you can do it during the interview before the interview and after the interview and this is how like you can use chat gpt to make your lives more simple and more easier like 80 percent of heavy lifting will be already been done by machines right like uh 80 percent like by using the right technology you can live stream it like 80% of your heavy lifting is already done here, right? And all you have to do is bring like your audience 10%, which, is, which you are already building. And it's only like 10% effort of yours. Like you have to initiate, you have to take in like your journey. That's something like you have to do. No chat GPT or no robot is going to come and knock your door. Hello, Mr. Akshay, go and start interviewing entrepreneurs right nobody said me to do it's like i was depressed i was frustrated i wanted to connect with the people right it started with me and then i wanted to create that impact to the community with that being said this is how i got started in my journey and that is how like you can also do it to create a huge impact in the marketplace right and this is how i did it and this is how like you can do using chat gpt for asking the right questions before, during the interviews and after interviews, which makes things people like writing from the Facebook post, writing the emails, having your questions after the interviews, making the post, everything, right? And this is how 
it is going to help you out right and th that's how i am been doing currently right now right i'm using all these things uh, because it gives me like faster like everything super super fast right and that's what like you can use it in your business to make your lives much better and easier right with that being said if you found it valuable let me know like what is your biggest takeaways and if you want us to help you start like your interview shows right like to coach you and uh, help you out to bring in like the best guest into your podcast like you can book a call with us at like real knowledge club and uh, we will tell you exactly how to go on right with that being said we are coming to the end of like today's session like i will be opening uh, like for the q and a right whatever questions you have feel free to ask me and uh, let me know your biggest takeaways also be happy to know that and uh, yes let's do it right uh, what questions you have you can unmute yourself and uh, uh, ask us um uh, yeah you can talk about like this chat gpt how it is currently you or uh, you are using or like how it is helping you in your interviews like about this specific topic if you have anything to tell you can unmute yourself and uh, tell if you hello. want to tell yeah hello hello yes yeah yeah, thank you, brother, for giving a, in, a brief uh, in, insight in detail. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, it's all about how you how you are using tool. So I have uh, got a great insight related to using tools. Okay, I'm also using it uh, Chat GPT for asking question, but I have not uh, used these techniques. So I just got these techniques. But thank you so much for giving this insight. Awesome, Amitij. Glad you found it valuable. Right? Hmm. Yeah. It's now it's like you have to plan when you are going to start your interview show and start executing it. Right? Put out a date yeah, like yeah. from when you are going to start. Who is the niche like you want to target? And like you can go ahead and start interviewing the people whom you want to do. Okay. Right? Okay, brother. I will contact you very soon. Okay. Yes. And thank you so much, guys, for being so patient and here until the end. And take action, right? Just implement, go take action, implement it. If you got great results, send me a thank you message on Facebook telling that you implemented, got your first show. And you'll be like, I'll be super happy to hear that. Right. And if you are someone who wants someone to help you like super fast, right? Because I'm implementing day in and day out. We can help you on a massive scale and a much faster rate. Just book a call with us at like realknowledgeclub.com and uh, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. See you.